In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix Minecraft crashing, freezing, or just not working correctly on your Windows computer. Before we get started, if you do like this video and you want to see more videos on how to resolve issues with Minecraft or other PC games, then be sure to click on that subscribe button. So the first thing that you need to do is right click on the start menu icon. You now need to select settings, and you then need to click on to update and security. And you now need to click on check for updates. And you just want to ensure that you have the latest Windows updates installed. As you can see, it says my Windows is up to date, which is perfect. If yours detected any new updates, allow them to install. And also, if you have any optional updates available, as you can see, I have an optional update available, go ahead and download and install those updates. Once you've done that, restart your computer and the next thing you need to do is ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. If you're not sure how to check what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then selecting device manager. You now need to expand display adapters. And as you can see, I have an Nvidia graphics card and it's a GTX 1660 Super, which means I need to go to the Nvidia website and download the driver for a 1660 Super. I will pop the links in the description below where you can grab a driver for your graphics card. So once you've updated Windows and updated your graphics driver, the next thing you need to do is ensure that you have the latest version of Java installed on your computer. If you're not using the Java version of Minecraft and you're playing the Microsoft app version of the game, then you don't need to do this step. So to download the latest version of Java, you need to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. You now need to click on Java download and you then need to click on agree if you do agree to the terms and press download. And we then need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, you then need to run the setup file. You will then end up with a window that looks like this. We now need to go ahead and press install and this is going to install the latest version of Java to your computer. Once Java has finished installing, you can now go ahead and press close and restart your computer and launch Minecraft and see if that helped resolve the issues you're facing. If that didn't help fix the issues you're facing, then the next thing you need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in UAC. And we then need to click on change user account control settings. You then need to change this to never notify. Once you've done that, go ahead and press OK. The next thing we need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you then need to click on power options. You then need to click on additional power settings and you then need to select high performance. If you don't see this option available, then you can expand, show additional and you will see the high performance option here. Once you have changed the power plan and UAC, Go ahead and launch Minecraft and see if that resolved the issues. If it didn't, you now need to keep Minecraft open as we need to change a few different settings within the game. Once you're in game, go ahead and select options and then click on to video settings. You now need to change your graphics to fast and you also need to turn smooth lighting to off. Go ahead and press done and then launch into a game in Minecraft and see if that helps resolve the issues. If it does, then you can always increase the graphics slightly to fancy and also increase the lighting slightly to medium. And once you have increased those settings, go ahead and jump back into a game and then see if the game crashes. If it doesn't, then that's good. You can then increase the settings again until the game crashes and then obviously lower the graphics back down. So once you've done all that and if your game's still crashing, then the next thing you need to do is completely close down Minecraft and you now need to open up File Explorer. You now need to do the percentage symbol and you then need to type in app and then data and then the percentage sign again and press enter. You're now looking for the Minecraft folder. You need to right click on this folder and go rename and you just simply need to add backup to the end of it and press enter. Now go ahead and launch the game and this is going to re-download all the files and stuff and then go into game and see if that resolves the crashing problems. If it didn't, then you can delete the new Minecraft folder that's been created and then change the backup folder back to the original Minecraft name. The next thing you need to do is ensure that everything is up to date within the Microsoft Store. 
So to check this, all you need to do is open up the start menu and type in store. You now need to select Microsoft Store and you then need to click onto library and you then need to click on get updates. And if there are any updates available, you will then be able to select update all. As you can see, I just recently done an update on Minecraft for Windows and also the Minecraft launcher is updated through the Microsoft Store as well. Once you've done all that and you've ensured everything is up to date, go ahead and launch Minecraft again and see if that helped resolve the issue. If that didn't fix the problems you're having with the game, then the next thing you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and select apps and features. You now need to search for Minecraft. You then need to select Minecraft and go to advanced options. If you can't see Minecraft in the list, that's because this is for the app version of the game. Once you're on advanced options, you now need to scroll down and press terminate. And you then need to click on reset and then reset again. And this is going to reset the game. This will also delete the app's data. Once you've done that, launch the game and see if that helped fix the problems you're having. I hope the methods in this video did help fix the crash and freezing and other issues you're having with Minecraft on your Windows computer. If it didn't, then the next thing to do, unfortunately, would be to uninstall Minecraft and then install the game again. So if you did like this video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then hit that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.